Hi, this is Swan from Swan Amity Studios. In this video, we're going to be using the freezer paper starch method in order to turn over a circle shape right here. You'll see we've got our circle cut out in the freezer paper, ironed on to our shape with seam allowance in fabric. Now, what we're also going to be doing is showing how we use a lining fabric to prevent a white fabric that's going to sit on top of a darker surface from showing any of the underneath fabric. We want to be able to use that lining fabric to make the bright white stay bright white even on top of a darker fabric. Again, we're using our number four brush, a trolley needle, starch, this is a liquid starch mixed with water, and a hot iron, a smaller iron, something that's easy to use on the surface. If you've seen our How to Use the Freezer Paper Starch Method video, then you will have already seen some of these things on the video. We're going to talk specifically about a circle this time around. Again, we're going to use our starch, just like in the previous video, and we're going to paint that onto the seam allowance of our circle shape, getting it all the way around, and any time we cross over the freezer paper, we're just going to wipe that off. I'm going to set this one aside. Normally you know I like to let my shape sit for just a little bit, so I have one here that I painted the starch on before I started the video. Let's move these things out of our way and go ahead and turn over the circle shape. We'll use our trolley needle, just like that. We're getting out our iron and now we're going to use the point of the iron to come in and turn over just a tiny portion to start with. We just kind of want to nail that spot into place so that as we begin turning with the trolley needle we're going to carry that edge around just like that Again, we're using those circle shapes, just like we talked about before, where we're rolling the iron in towards the edge of the piece, rather than laying it down directly on the top, just like that. That gives us a smoother, cleaner circle edge. Looking good. We're going to carry that all the way around. Notice again that any time I'm coming up to the top of my piece, I'm turning that circle so that my iron always stays in the side in a comfortable position. Circling in, circling in, just like that. We come around to our starting point. Because we didn't make a big flat line, it's pretty easy then to shape that portion so that we end up with a nice smooth circle shape just like that. Now how do we get that lining fabric in there so that when we set this shape on top of our darker fabric we get a nice bright white. We're going to reach inside our piece and catch the edge of the freezer paper just like that pull the freezer paper out. Now we still have our circle shape. We're going to take our lining fabric, set it on top, and then I like to use my trolley needle here to pick up the edge of my seam allowance while I push my lining fabric into place inside my circle. It's a little easier to get everything in there. Then I can take my trolley needle and run the edge right around there so that everything lines up inside. Now you can see I have a nice bright white lined circle and when I put that on top of a darker fabric I'm still going to have a bright white shape. None of the base fabric showing through. Again, this has been a video from Swan Amity Studios. If you like this video and these tips and tricks for applique, 
please visit us at swanamity.com. That's S-W-A-N-A-M-I-T-Y dot com, where you'll find other videos that will help you to make perfect applique. Remember, all the world's a quilt, and here at Swan Amity Studios, we encourage you to quilt the world.